Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There is this new trend emerging where top security bosses goes to the people urging them to stop mandamano. And if you listen to them keenly, it's as if they are advising these people that mandamano will not bring them food at the end of the day. So for them to get food at the end of the day, they should not demonstrate, but they should go back to their work. I've listened to many of them bringing that kind of, of a narrative. I want us to listen to what happened today in Kisumu on the second day of demonstrations before we continue. Listen to this. So, naona tumekuwa na maandamano mara kwa mara mara kwa mara mpaka town yetu ina kama kama ghost town sasa. Watu wafanye biashara, ndio? Yeye mnapata kila siku mnapata mapato kupitia kwa hii biashara mnafanya boda boda. Ndio? Na ikiwa hakuna kazi inafanyika katika hii town, inamaanisha yeye hamtapata hamtapata riziki. Hamtapata mapato na huko mnalalamika mkusema ya kwamba uko na njaa. You know, the only way you can find your way of living is through you, you earn your daily bread through big making business through this border border and other business. You know, to, to ask you please, let us maintain calm. Beshara zirudi kama kawaida. Watu wafanye beshara tu wache food tu wache Yes, that's what happened in Kisumu today on the second day of Mandamano. And what the county commissioner was doing is what I've seen being done in other parts of the country where top police bosses dissuade the people from demonstrating. And in most occasions, they are telling them that if they demonstrate, then at the end of the day, they won't have anything to eat. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand in clear terms where the truth lies. Let me start by saying this. When a Kenyan takes to the street to demonstrate, that Kenyan has tried all the possible options to speak to the government, but the government is not listening. So that Kenyan is left with only one option to demonstrate for the government to listen. And I'm saying that because not once or twice, we have been seeing Kenyans speaking through various 
media platforms telling the government to lower the high cost of living. One good example was during Finance Bill 2023, where there was a public participation. Kenyans told the government very clearly that the cost was too high for them. So the government ought to have lowered the cost of living. Instead of the government lowering the, co the high cost of living, the government went ahead and raised the cost of living further through the passage of Finance Bill 2023. Not once, not twice, Kenyans have been crying for lack of jobs, insecurity, so many things. The government has not been listening. So when Kenyans take to the streets to demonstrate, that's their last option. They have tried all these options, all has failed. So instead of these top government officials in the security telling them to stop demonstrating, these top security bosses should go and tell the president that people are suffering on the ground. They are de not demonstrating because they want. They are demonstrating because life is very hard for them. And then secondly, if you look at what the government is doing, where Kenyans elect leaders who should, who should be speaking on their behalf, the leaders reaching being sworn, or rather reaching parliament, being sworn in, they are being bought by the government. They no longer represent the people. And I'm saying that again based on the passage of Finance Bill 2023. I hoping 93% of Kenyans were against that bill. But still the elected leaders went ahead past that bill. So it's very clear that these demonstrations are orchestrated by the government for buying and bribing the leaders who should be speaking on behalf of the people. The people have nobody to speak for them. So they must just go to the streets to be heard. These top police bosses should tell the government to stop bribing elected leaders. Let the elected leaders work for the people. If Ruto stops buying members of parliament, maybe these members of parliament will be working for the people and there will be no demonstrations. Something also coming out very clearly. If you look at the demonstrations, they are always very peaceful before the police interferes. So instead of these top police bosses telling the people to stop their demonstrations, they should be telling the police not to interfere with the peaceful demonstrators. Because again, that's where the problem starts. So instead of bringing people together and then you start lecturing them on why they should stop demonstrations, go lecture your police officers, your junior officers who are interfering with the peaceful demonstrators. Without the police interference, the demonstrations will be peaceful at the end of the day. Each and every person will go back home, nobody injured, no business destroyed. This government is clearly getting it completely wrong from all fronts. And also, if you look at it very carefully, when a Kenyan decides to demonstrate, already that Kenyan has organized and planned his life on how he wants to push his life. So when you tell that Kenyan to stop demonstrating, to go back to work, it's as if you are assuming that that Kenyan demonstrating does not know hey, what he or she is doing, which I consider a madarao. And these top police bosses, they should not be using their uniform and their rank to intimidate Kenyans because some 
they are assuming that now because they are in that rank, then they have monopoly of ideas and wisdom. These people you see down there, some are very wise and very brilliant. Mm. So again, these police officers, they should not assume mm, that now they have that monopoly of ideas, monopoly of wisdom. They, don't, they know what is right for others and those others don't know what is right for them. I think if that's, if that's done, then each and every person <laughs> will live very peacefully and very happily. And it has forced me to talk about that because it's an emerging trend we are seeing. We are some police bosses, collects people together, then they start mm, talking them down. Let them just obey the law. Protests, demonstrations, picketing are all enshrined in the constitution. In if anything, is the people should be advising these top police bosses to stop giving illegal orders to their juniors. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to any other person who may want to support our forum, contact me through that number below. We are working on a very interesting video where a police officer who joined the demonstrators in Makweni has been arrested. The suspect has since been placed under lawful police custody. We are working on that video. Make sure you stay tuned by subscribing in order not to miss that video. That video confirms one thing. The center can no longer hold in Kenya Kwanzaa. Things are crumbling. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.